Welcome to Two Minutes and Le or Less with Janine. Please forgive me if this one's a little bit longer. Our assignment today is in healthcare ethics, and it doesn't matter if you're nursing, a doctor, whatever you are in the healthcare field, it is a requirement that you document properly. And as PSWs, we often struggle with ethical dilemmas. So I'm gonna read you a case scenario and you are going to see what I'm looking for in this assignment is what are the ethics that you're going to struggle with? What type of abuse might you see here? What are you going to document? And remember, it must be legally documented in your nice little journal. This one has to be handwritten in your journal. Remember when we're using legal documentation, only approved abbreviations, black pen, 24-hour clock, and all the other things that you've learned in interpersonal communication must be documented. I know that some of you just do not like handwriting or printing. However, in healthcare, it is still a requirement and a journal exercise is what you do. So this is the case study and then I'd like you to put your thoughts in your journal. Rick. Here's Rick. You are going to assist him. You can see he's a young teenage man, not over the age of 18, but he's experienced, unfortunately, a spinal cord injury. He's able to get around at school and able to do everything in his chair, even can play basketball with the boys and girls too. Well, Rick, he has no use of his legs, but he has upper use of, or limited use, and just about full use, I should say, of his upper body. When you're at Rick's house, he's very clear about the areas of the house that you can go in when you're helping him. But today, he wants you to look for his iPad. Hmm. He says, it must be up in my bedroom. There's an elevator going up and down, so you hop in the elevator and up in his bedroom you go. He's always been clear that usually you don't go in his bedroom, but today he's giving you permission to get his iPad. You can't easily find his iPad, so you look in a cabinet in his room. When you open it, you find marijuana plants growing under the light. Hmm. What's a person to do? Now remember we've looked at healthcare ethics. One of them we looked at was confidentiality. Do you tell anyone? Do you keep it a secret? Also remember justice. Also remember non-maleficent. Also make sure that you look at benefits or benefiance, sorry. And also make sure that you keep that relationship with Rick. So what are you going to do? I look forward to your answers in your journal. You can hand that journal in to me in person when I see you next. I look forward to it. Talk to you soon and bye for now.